Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Reza Tahiri. In this video, I will be showing you how to open a Stripe account for unsupported countries. I know how it is hard to get a payment gateway in recent years, especially in those countries that are not supported by Stripe. Stripe is one of the best payment gateway that accepts card payment online. Unfortunately, it supports only some, uh, some of the countries over the globe like North America, some of the countries of Europe, and some few other countries. If you are from one of those countries that is not supported by Stripe, don't worry, this guide will help you. Personally, myself tried to open a Stripe account hundreds of times, literally hundreds, but I could not succeed. Some said open an LLC in the US, I did that, Stripe did not activate my account. I opened a limited company in the UK, again could not activate my account. Finally, I opened another company in the UK, and this time I finally succeeded in activating my Stripe account. Anyway, long story short, let's get started. This video is made up of three major parts. One, opening a UK company. Second, Google VPS or RDP. Third, opening a UK based Stripe account. Follow me till the end of this video. The end part of this video is very very important. Go to firstformation.co.uk so you can open your company by using this service. Open a UK limited company which will cost around $20. They have several different packages, but I recommend going with the digital package. The only thing that you need to do with this package is to have a UK address. I will show you how to get a UK address. I will not go further with the details about it because the main topic is how to open a Stripe account. There are some extra services both paid and free with this package if you want. You can use your home country address as your residential address. But you should have a UK address for your primary address, your company registered address, and your company registered office. To get a UK address, use some services like Forward to Me. You can open a free account and if you want, if you have something to ship from UK, your pricing starts at 14 British pound per item. As a beginner, there is no necessity to ship something about your UK company. I will leave all the necessary links and information in the description section of this video. I have a question for you. Have you ever used forward to me services before? Let me know in the comment section. After you order your company formation, you will receive an email like this. The email that contains the information about your order. After a day or so, you will receive another email that contains documents about your company formation. This way you open your UK company. Now let's go with the second step. That's going to be Google RDP. Google VPS which stands for Virtual Private Server and sometimes it's called specifically RDP which stands for Remote Desktop Protocol. It's like you are virtually located in the UK, US or anywhere else. But in real life, you are in your home country. VPN can also do something similar, but VPN easily detected by most network servers. Therefore, in order to get a Stripe account, you should use RDP. Stripe cannot detect your primary location. I have another question for you. Have you ever used Google VPS before? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section. So let's get started with Google VPS. First go to console.cloud.google.com and then create an account if you do not have one. Google Cloud gives a $300 credit for you to use it. After you created it, click on the navigation menu and then click on compute engine and afterwards click on VM instances and then click on create button change its name or leave it as it is and change the region to London and leave the zone as it is and change the boot disk to SQL server on Windows server you can choose other ones based on your computer type and need and change the version if you want 
and let firewall allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic and click on the create button wait for a while till it's ready to use after it is ready to use click on the button next to the RDP and then set Windows password and hit save and copy the password save the password somewhere else so you will need it in the future do not lose it if you change the password it can cause the loss of encrypted data secured with your older password therefore your strap account will go messy and possibly your account will get closed now download the RDP file and run it paste the password and continue it is connected to a new desktop which is virtually located in the UK it is time is 9 26 p.m. but my real location time is 12 26 a.m. as you can see it is a fresh new desktop so you need a browser like Google Chrome and download the Google Chrome on your real computer and copy in your RDP and install it because you will need it because Google console is a bit expensive and if your RDP stays active for a few months it can be very costly therefore when you don't use it simply stop it and when you need to use it simply start it back again and download the file and run it using your older password do not set a password again or you will lose your Strava account now let's open a Strava account it is as simple as it looks if you want follow my instruction enter your email address your full name and password I will hide my information due to being credential and now verify your email address to activate your account click on start now button here select UK and write your business information and then business details if you want to get a UK phone number get one from eBay it is better to get one if not it is okay in the following section add the business owners business directors and executives and continue here write your card statement it will be shown on your customers card payment and invoices in this section add your bank details you can use pioneer bank details if you have one if you don't open an account additionally you can use transfer wise I will leave their links in the description section of this video now install authentication app on your mobile phone and set up a two-factor authentication and finally submit it now your account is ready to use it has been passed literally months and I did not receive any rejection from stripe here is your live API keys that you can get live payment on your website I have tested them and they worked very well here is a quick note be prepared in case if you ask additional information such as your ID take the following steps carefully first do not use multiple RDP use only one that you created your Strub account in the first place second never sign into your Strub account without RDP third to avoid these mistakes do not lose your RDP password and do not change the password of your RDP in case you did make one of those mistakes and Stripe ask additional information first you need to have the same RDP or at least UK RDP installed on your mobile phone which yet I do not know how to do that if you know how you can do that share it with me second if you cannot install UK RDP on your mobile phone then you need to have your docs in the UK so someone else can upload them and send them to a Strava account that's it guys I hope this video will help you 
If you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel, like this video, so it will help this channel. If you have any more questions, comment under this video. I will leave all the necessary links and information in the description section. Have a great time and see you soon.